Makara Renz was walking into her North Prospect Street apartment when she heard the gunshots. You can't really mistake gunshots. <laughs> it's kind of something that you, you know when you hear it. Um, and then may, not even two minutes later, we started hearing sirens going off. Across the street, Renz spotted two people laying in a yard screaming. It's something she never thought she'd see in her neighborhood just minutes from UVM. It's disturbing when you're seeing that happen. This part of Burlington is definitely considered to be quote unquote like the more safe on the more safe side. Following calls of gunshots around 6.25 p.m., police found Hisham Awartani, Kinan Abdel Hamid, and Tassin Ahmed suffering from gunshot wounds. The men were taken to UVM Medical Center where two are in stable condition and the third is seriously injured. Police say the victims are all 20-year-old Palestinian Americans visiting family in Burlington for Thanksgiving. The men told police they were walking along North Prospect when a white man with a handgun confronted them, shooting all three. The victims told police they were speaking Arabic and two were wearing kafiyas when they were shot. In a statement, Burlington Chief of Police John Murad said it's hard not to suspect the shootings were motivated by hate. Burlington Mayor Mira Weinberger called the shootings chilling, saying hate crimes have no place in Burlington. Cindy Wolkin lives around the corner from the scene of the shooting. While out for a walk on Sunday, she says it's hard not to speculate about the crime. I think you have to be very careful not to use your emotions to jump to conclusions, but Burlington does feel a little different to me now. Burlington police canvassed the neighborhood looking for witnesses and home surveillance camera video. They also recovered ballistics evidence. Police are being assisted by other local police, state police, and federal investigators. The Council on American Islamic Relations, the nation's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization, today offered a 10,000 reward for information leading to the shooter's arrest and conviction. In the newsroom, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.